What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today bringing you guys a little something new on my channel. And this is actually beta gameplay from the Destiny game that will be coming out later this year. And guys, I am having an absolute blast playing this. In this gameplay, I am actually playing with my friend iJoshiify. If you guys watch a lot of Madden content and uh, specifically a lot of Mutt content, you've probably heard of him before. And although I play really well in this game, I hate to toot my own horn like that. I actually do play pretty well in this game, though. I get a decent amount of kills, a good kill-death ratio, and that kind of thing. I don't play anywhere near as well as I Joshify. <laughs> he is an absolute monster at this game. Uh, I mean, obviously, we're only in the beta stage at this point in time. Uh, but at the same time, though, you can already tell that he has the gun skills and just, like, the know-how. He knows how to get around the maps. He knows kind of when to do things and not to do things, when to challenge, that kind of stuff. I wish we could watch his gameplay footage from this game because I would really love to see what he was doing to get some of the kills that he got. But you guys will get to see my gameplay, and it's not too bad. It's not too terrible or anything. I try to play a little bit uh, defensively on B specifically. But basically... What this game is, for those of you who are unaware, is it's basically an MMORPG. So it is a mass multiplayer online RPG game. And so what that basically means is that you can level up your little individual character. You can make different classes of characters or different life forms or whatever they're called. Uh, my character is actually a warlock. And what that basically does for me is it gives me an interesting uh, supercharge move, they call it. And what it is, is it's something where every once in a while, once you've built up enough points and, and enough uh, kills and that kind of thing, you get to go into like this kind of like almost like super scion mode if you're a, a fan of um, Dragon Ball Z, which I wasn't, but I know kind of what that is. And it's kind of similar to that where you go into this super mode where you just destroy people uh, for a very short period of time. Mine is actually just like basically a, a one shot uh, fireball type of a thing and you'll see me throw it down a couple of times I think during the course of this game but overall though uh, the MMORPG things uh, uh, side of things I didn't really know if I would particularly like it but I'm actually having a lot of fun with it I had a lot of fun leveling up my character to level 8 which is the max that they allow you to get to in the demo it sounds like though that they're actually going to allow you to get to level 20 in the final game and we saw some of the cool stuff that you can actually unlock. Uh, they, they kind of allowed us to unlock it, but didn't allow us to actually use it because our character can't get to the level where it can actually utilize the, the item. But I saw some stuff that was like a 300 damage weapon and stuff like that, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, that would be a ridiculously dominant weapon for this game. Uh, but, you know, I, like I said, I, I haven't been able to use it, so I don't know if it's like super challenging to control or something like that. But... Uh, you know, it's going to be interesting, I think, once it gets to that level, because the people who are newbies at the game, they're going to be pretty much screwed if they have to go up against somebody that has a 300 damage weapon and a, a crazy amount of armor and things like that. I, I think that that kind of stuff would work really well for the single player mode or, or the team play or the free roam or whatever they want to call it. But I'm not really sure that for the online head-to-head uh, -head gameplay like you see here that it really works very well. And if you're unaware, uh, sorry, I'm kind of jumping all around here in this gameplay because this is kind of my first actual, I guess, shooter gameplay. So I'm kind of just trying to, you know, get my footings on uh, this type of gameplay footage. But, you know, for, for this game mode, if you guys haven't played this demo or if you're not familiar, basically what this is is very similar to Call of Duty's Domination. There's three capture points with flags, uh, a very traditional shooter game mode. Uh, but this one has some interesting features of it in that it, it, when you're playing on this map, which is on Venus, for example, um, you can actually get to B and A and C pretty quickly because you can do things like you just saw me there jumping. Uh, my character has like a, a soar through the air kind of a jump. Some of the other characters have a really high double jump and things like that. So it makes for some interesting gameplay because you're actually able to get to the points pretty quickly. They're not super far apart. And then on the other map, which is a moon map, and I might actually show that at some point, uh, on that map you could actually use vehicles. So that gets really interesting as well, of course, because that adds a whole new dimension to the game. Uh, a dimension that I don't necessarily love at all points in time because 
uh, the vehicles I've found are a little bit overpowered at times, especially if they get in the hands of somebody who is really, really good with them. Even people like iJoshify, who you're going to see here, his score, he even struggles on that moon map from time to time because there's just some times where there's not a whole lot you can do. Or, you know, maybe he's playing really, really well, but his teammates myself aren't playing very well so we end up just getting him killed constantly but you know that's how online games are so there's not really a whole lot you can do but overall like i said i'm really enjoying this game i'm having a hell of a lot of fun playing it uh you know trying out different guns and trying out different features uh with with the level ups that your character can do it actually is really really cool because there's times when you unlock new things that you didn't even really know that your character could do um, I actually unlocked this different type of grenade that I thought was going to be really, really awesome, but it turned out to kind of suck, or maybe I just didn't really know how to use it. But this purple grenade that I like to use, this thing is, from what I've seen, it is super overpowered because it can take out vehicles, it can take out people, you just throw it right down on one of the points. That's like one of my favorite things to do with this grenade, and hopefully you're going to see me do it again. I know I already did it at one point in this game. But, uh, oh, here's a supercharge. So there, I just took out that guy. Um, probably should have waited until there were more people than just the one, but whatever. I wasn't going to let him sit and take B. So, uh, but the purple grenade that I was talking about, I think that that one, if you throw it down onto the point, so if you actually land it onto, like, the C flag or the B flag or whatever, it's an awesome weapon because it's, it does so much work. It, it like sits there. First of all, it has like a slight impact. And then on top of that, if they fall into the uh, the radius of where it's kind of like exuding forces, it will basically slowly kill them. And in other games, it wouldn't do that. Like Halo, from what I remember, some of the grenades, they would like take down your shield and things like that, but they wouldn't necessarily kill you. Well, this one will actually kill you if you stand in it for too long. So it, it's ridiculously overpowered, actually, to, in my opinion. And uh, we've been playing a few games, and I think pretty much all of us agree at this point that that stupid purple grenade, it's really, really irritating to play against if people know how to utilize it. And it's basically, I think it's the first grenade that you get. I don't even think it's an upgrade uh, with the Warlock class. And I think it's only for the Warlock class, and people might be able to correct me if I'm wrong, the Titan class and um, some of the other ones might actually be able to do that. The Hunter, I, I don't remember if they can or not. I think... XRI915 was telling me that he couldn't do it with his hunter, but I don't know about the Titan. So, anyway, yeah, so you can see here there's a variety of different guns. I'm only using this one gun here, but I switch off kind of back and forth from time to time with the sniper rifle. Now, I, I find that I'm not very effective with the sniper rifle on this map specifically because it's kind of more close quarters than the moon map. But when you're on the moon map, you can use the sniper rifle, which is the secondary am ammo here, special ammo, they call it. You kind of have to go pick it up. Uh, you only get a very small amount to begin with, like three or five shots or something like that. But uh, as you can see here, they're kind of placed throughout the map, different special ammo crates, and you can go pick those up at kind of at any time. But uh, it, it, the secondary weapons, you can have like a shotgun or a sniper rifle or uh, there's all kinds of different things. And then there's actually a heavy ammo. And heavy ammo is actually only available a couple of times throughout the entire course of the game. And I haven't quite figured out exactly what those times are, whether it's, you know, time-based or if it's based on the score or if it's based on the circumstances of the game and kind of how the flags are controlled or what. I haven't really been able to figure that out yet. But the heavy ammo, you can actually get like a light machine gun that is really, really powerful. Or you can get things like a rocket launcher and... Uh, those type of things can take out vehicles pretty easily. Uh, they're also really good, obviously, for getting kills. So, it, you know, there's actually, like I said, a lot of different variety of the weaponry, which I'm having a lot of fun with. Most people, I think, are still using kind of automatic assault rifles, but I've seen some people using burst fire weapons. I've Obviously, I've seen a lot of people using sniper rifles and uh, shotguns and things like that. So I, I really do enjoy that because it's not quite like Call of Duty where pretty much everybody's using the same type of weapons. And as you see there, I die, but I did hit a couple people with my supercharge. And that one actually, that supercharge that I used, actually sets out almost like a thing like that purple grenade where it will continue to kill them even after if I were to die or after the actual impact of the initial fireball comes in, it still continues to kill them. So I really like that supercharge. Uh, I think other people, if you haven't tried out the uh, Warlock class, I think you'd have a lot of fun playing with that supercharge because it's really powerful. Not quite so much like uh, the uh, gold gun, as we call it. 
um, that you get with the hunter class. The hunter class can kill three people really quickly, quickly with that gold gun. Uh, but I haven't really found it to have quite the lasting damage that the other supercharge does, the one that I'm using does. So, with that being said, guys, we're just about coming to the end of this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Look at iJosh's score at the end of this thing, because he is an absolute monster at this game. Please, tell him to go on and upload videos of, of uh, Destiny. I almost called it Titanfall, jeez. Uh, yeah, tell him to upload videos of Destiny, though, because I want to see his gameplay footage. He goes 13... Uh, 0.33 here with the KD, so I think that's a 40 to 3 kill death ratio. So go on to his channel, I Joshify. I will leave a link in the description below. Tell him to, to upload uh, Destiny gameplay footage. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to press that like button and leave a comment if you like this type of video. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.